Poggers champion. Real business. Hello, Mason Nation. We were specifically requested for this one. It's true, it's true. Well, he just kind of pointed in our direction, but... He said, well, he said very vaguely, we need commentator. Snack starting it off with an egg roll. And I don't I'm mean the sorry. food, you know what I mean? I really, like... I really shouldn't have sent him that egg roll clip. Which one, the like, shield break people... one? Yeah, oh, he yeah. believes in it now. I'm so sorry. I'm, okay, all I'm just saying is homie gets that, like, frequently. He gets it once per bracket. Yeah, and then he, like, wants to do it every single game. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, you need to start doing that more. Egg Deck rolling? rolling? bad tech to your opponent. True. <laughs> the thing is, it wasn't even bad tech. Like, he shield broke with it. Uh, snack to his own admittance is playing out of his mind right now. I feel like his spacing is just on point. Yeah, for real. He's not letting beef like, yeah. breathe here at all. Big pressure coming out here. And I see, like... Good on beef for getting back to ledge. True. Or back to stage. The egg ledge trap is kind of pretty deadly. And at 118, that, you know, you get hit by that egg forward air, boom, you're dead. Every time he egg rolls, I just see that clip in my head. True. Baba Booey. All right, Snack's may be able to make it back on the stage. It's a pretty even... Thing or, oh, does that kill? That oh kills. my goodness, that kills. Uh, yeah, good, good, uh, good on snack there by by dragging him off the platform so he can get the final hit. For sure. I think I'm pretty sure that move has like higher kill power than up air. Isn't that crazy? That's wild. That yucky? Actually, yeah. I think what I'm worried about. I feel like Beef is getting a little bit caught up in what Snacks wants to do. Like he's, I don't want to say trying to play at Snacks tempo, but it definitely feels like he's like getting caught up and he doesn't know where he fits in in this match. I. Oh, sorry, good. I said that, and then I'm sorry. Beef. He down smashed out of disadvantage. Woo, game five <laughs> down smash. I love that down smash. It's so good. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, uh, I I get what you mean. Uh, I I feel like Snack just isn't giving him a chance to not do that though. You right, know? right. Just look at this. He's he's got crazy stage control right now. I think if he plays a little more defensively and keeps using those overtars to try to keep Snack off with yeah, you know those hits in the air, I think it benefits him a lot more in the long run. He's got a but lot also, to work with. Snack's playing like this. What the fuck? He's, what the what the heck do you do? I know that's what I'm saying. I guess you you take. Oh no. my goodness! Two socks, two socks like that. Wow. You were not kidding. Somebody clip that or something. I don't know. That was cool though. Snack will clip it later when he. No, oh, absolutely. The that was a uh, that was a good, really good uh, follow up with a downer. I'm surprised that. Well, beef was still there for it. So what does beef do? What? To win this next one. We're uh, going to a small battlefield. You see the switch to the dark pit. Honestly, I'm not I'm not sure. I, I didn't pay enough attention to the neutral interactions. I just felt like Snack was, was in advantage for, for most of that game. Right, right. I guess he's right. He is playing out of his mind. But, yeah. like, I feel like at least the the heavier dark pit arrows might help him a little bit more. Because I in feel neutral, like... yeah, for sure. Just keep him out a little bit. Normal pits arrows were not really doing much it's mm -hmm. like he just didn't like, get a chance to use them either you know right that's like that's like breathing on yoshi like he doesn't care right right, right. but um the arrows the dark pit arrows here might help him a little bit more to keep him off here we go yeah um, beef beef is you know setting up here uh good aerials key walling out snack unfortunately that uh, neutral air not doing enough knockback to break through uh the double jump armor uh no drag down there see yoshi was doing pmlg before school <laughs> Or something, I don't know. Ban Yoshi? True. Hashtag Ban Yoshi. This yeah. match is very explosive. It's definitely a lot closer than the last one. I do think he stays Dark Pit for the rest of the set. Yeah. Um. I mean, Dark Dark Pit Advantage is really good. Right, right. It's wild, though, because, like, one of them will be on ledge, and then the other one will immediately switch to ledge trapping the other No one. way! He got ledge trap! Or he got egg trap! That's so good! I haven't seen it, like, not, you know, he could have followed up a little better, but getting the egg trump alone is, is, uh, is, is, is pretty poggers, it's if I do Yoshi say so moment. myself. Yeah. He morbed out. Uh, he did. I expected him to just go ledge drop, uh, neutral air, but, no, egg trump is, is, is dope. Uh, Beef getting caught by the DI mix-up. He um, keeps killing with the down air. It's like he's, he heard you say that it had more kill power than the up air. I'm just surprised. I feel like. He doesn't usually go for it. Well, not, not like that. Not only that, Beef is, I think, respecting Yoshi options a little bit too much. Right. Um, throwing out, like, literally, you know, down air from below, you know? The hitbox isn't there until you're inside of them. Uh, so any option, I feel like, would would, uh, would beat down air there. Right. I'm I, almost wondering if this is, like, a little bit of matchup inexperience, where, like... I don't think so. I think I think Beef is just overwhelmed right now. 
That's fair. I mean, the way Snack is stuffing everything out. That's true, yeah. When you see a Yoshi playing at this level, it's, like, honestly one of the scariest characters mm -hmm. in this game. Because, like, he doesn't die. I don't know what came out there, but Beef died. <laughs> he just died. Yeah, like, no, like, when you see a Yoshi there, like yeah. this, he doesn't die. He hits, like, a truck. Like, you, what do you do? Right. His edge trap, his ledge guarding is good. Mm -hmm. It's just scary. Yeah. Snack has been in, um, I mean, he, you know, we, we, we talked a bit during bracket, uh, just Yoshi's strats and all. Uh, his his down airs, I feel like, this tournament have been uh, really good. See, this is what I mean, like, being an honest Yoshi player. Right. Down air is not an honest <laughs> move, you know? Use your cheater move. That does, yeah, like, 30%. Yeah. It, it, or if it doesn't do 30%, um, then you get, you know, tech follow-ups off of it. Or if it does do 30% and you get the auto cancel, you get up air out of it. That's 50%. What do you do about that? You hold that. <laughs> yeah. What does Yoshi lose? Like, what matchups do you lose? Because my answer was going to be like, pick a, pick a losing Yoshi. I mean, matchup. it's like generally big swords. Um, that's just the, the rule of thumb, but it, it, it's a little more complex than that. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Pit has the hitboxes. The big disjointed hitboxes. Right. Oh. Yikes. Okay. And he's up 2-0. He is. Better, better showing by Beef here. Um, I think for sure. I think he's figuring stuff out. I just I need him to figure it out faster. Not that. Um, not respect. Maybe it is a little match of an experience because like those up air strings. I feel like the reason that Snack is getting the down air off the top is because uh, Roast Beef either isn't throwing out a move or is air dodging up there and gives time for Snack to just eat him alive with a down air. Right. I mean, um, to me, when Beef respects him too much, I feel like that shouts, like, he doesn't play this matchup a whole, like, like he right. doesn't see it at tech. Um, I guess I don't know much about the tech player base, but I can't really say that I know I think, the significant Yoshi. I think Yoshi. is there. Uh, like, I think, I don't know of any other Yoshis. But it sure is on the same level as Snack, especially, like, how no. Snack is playing right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I imagine not. Because I feel like it's the thing about Yoshi players, and I guess it's like this for a lot of characters, but, like, Yoshi in particular, I feel like you get a different flavor of Yoshi between different players like yeah. some of them are a lot lamer than others um <laughs> some of them are like way too honest some of them are willing to time you out with eggs you know mm -hmm. i feel like what's happening here is snack might be playing a flavor of yoshi that he's not used to seeing yeah i can see that which is like it's important because it's like you feel like you know the character and what to do in the matchup but then they like mix it up on you and then it's like you get kind of lost in like the flow all right there that was good beef didn't get hit by the down air the rising down air also, getting back to stage was uh, was tough there. Fortunately, Yoshi is really heavy, and that backer won't kill just yet. Uh, ah. but wow, Snack just he just, he called out the the backer wall and said, "All right, I'm up, Smash." His, the feat has invuln. <laughs> Please don't put it like that. What? Don't put it like Invincible that. Invincible feat. Oh, hey, but hey, but he, he up also did back. the smash. Unfortunately, I don't think Dark Pit's feat have has invuln during Please his Please don't up smash. put it like that My again. Fault. Oh, you know what it does? I think up tilt. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. All right, 74%. Oh, he's going to get edge guarded. Nope. Beef's able to ma make it back onto stage. Ooh. But at what cost? Oh, here we go. This is good. Maybe not. Yeah, this is no, it's just it, it's it's tough for beef. I feel like right. Uh, and it's not like beef is playing poorly either. Like beef is right. also playing really well this turn. It's just that I think it. I think it's just a character thing right now because I feel like snack is able to get more out of winning a neutral interaction, uh, than beef. Not just because like you know he knows his combos. I I know beef also knows his combos. Right. That's just the nature of the characters. That right. Yoshi you know, just double jumps out. You right. know, if it's not frame tight, then okay, whatever. Oh, great text by both these players. Um, Beef is making his way back. I mean, Yoshi at 100 still not particularly kill percent, right. um, but it's it's closer. I think that might be what hurts Pit in this matchup the most is that Yoshi doesn't die when you want him to die. Like right. he just Yoshi <laughs> dies a little bit and then he chooses to like stay alive. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it just does not help because like Pit has good smash attacks. He has good, like, smash kill attacks, but they're just not doing anything because Yoshi is heavy. Right. Like, unexpectedly so. You know, in, in the words of Snack, um, dying before 150 as Yoshi is cringe. Right. So. 
So if he dies, oh, uh, now he's not cringe anymore. Yeah. Dark you know, looking ass. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah, but you know, I mean, at ninety three, that it wouldn't have killed, but it would have set up for a uh, for for a juggle situation there, and possibly shield break. Maybe, maybe snack was oh, going for the matchup and experience. See if he held shield there, but uh, yeah, I mean, forward air to up air, hard to drop that. Confirm. I really don't want Beef to be upset about that showing though, 